I got a little carried away and I kind of finished things up inside before I was able to make the last video, which you will see right here. Grab my new handle. Oh, one quick thing. I had pulled this apart, did uh, two by fours inside, insulated it, put this handle on here instead of the household doorknob that was on here and listen, nice solid thud. Oh yeah. You're watching the Prozex Project YouTube channel. up here with the dining table and I had routered in this notch on both sides and so with the table actually sits down right in that notch right underneath here and so you're able to have no piece of wood right here <laughs> it doesn't have to sit on that and it's able to um, sit in there nice and you don't have anything hitting you in the back of the legs and I try to keep it as clean as possible. When you put it in there, it looks like this. Nice and flat across there, under there. You have, still have everything. And then the cushions laid down and it's six foot three inches across. So most people can fit. Also, I got this hinge off of Amazon. Listen to how solid it is. It's a solid closure. And this isn't quite done yet, but this is going to be where I store my blankets and stuff like that. I'll show you why there's a hole right there, but I'm gonna close that in so those can go in there. So that's the fresh air intake, that's all the plumbing. This is my access to all the water, water lines. This is my hot water heater. So that vent over there creates um, air for this to suck in so it can shoot it out there rather than sucking cabin air and then possibly spitting out carbon monoxide. But it kind of creates its own little close section which i need to finish closing that in but the thing works great to turn it on you just click that over and that kicks on the power to the hot water heater and then whenever you turn on the water you just hear click 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 and it fires up and we have it takes about 15 seconds to get hot water out of this faucet which the water comes in back there goes over up to there and then from there, goes down, around, and back up to here. It takes about 15, about 15 seconds to get hot water, so that's really great. And I have to get a mounting plate for that because when I bought it, I forgot to grab that. And this, I'm gonna close the door, is obviously the lights. This is porch light. And this is another little set of lights that I've just mentioned before, but flip that on. And there's a little light right there. You can't hardly see it because it's daytime, but. That's where the wings are gonna go. And I'm just gonna backlight the wings. Some, some little unique thing that I wanted to do. Have little poles that match the ones up here. That's nice. And I have three neodymium magnets and uh, three pieces of metal that close your it, help it close, hold it close. Got the original toilet, got a shower pan that's three inches longer, I believe, than the factory. Got the lights, shower, and the water heater, the outlet for the hot water heater is like right here. So it goes down, tees immediately. So you have hot water instantly in here. And I have that covered because it's hot and it's summertime. And over here, I have to finish covering up a few things. That did not go all the way to the wall because of the original refrigerator. That, that was the exit right there. And this is because I had to put the air conditioning in after. So I have microwave, refrigerator, and shoe storage. Take my big stinky shoe off, set it in there. So that's my wife's idea. But that way you keep your shoes out of the way. Door. This was originally gonna be a heater, but then we wound up going with the heater 
up in the ceiling with the air conditioner. And so my brother-in-law said, hey, why don't you just turn it into an easy access door? So now, instead of having to lift the bed, which I need to cut a couple of handles in here, you can just open this door, grab something out here if you need or can, or lift this bad boy up. You have this much space under here. There's my water tank. And behind that is the space for the, for the back of it. But we have a six inch foam mattress that we got from Foam Direct or something like that. And I have these little cabinets that my brother-in-law built about five inches deep, like 51 inches long or something like that. It's 48 mattress. Yeah, about 50 inches all the way. I have this little Flame King stove, which works whenever the propane is actually connected. And a little splash charge. This is the original vent hood and it does not shut all the way. It goes to right there. So, oh, that's why. Yeah, it hits the, the original metal up here. So, okay, finish closing that off. And my wife made these. These are Reflectix with some blackout fabric and neodymium magnets. There are 3M, so they're adhe they have glue on one side and then they just stick up in place. And she did it for all of them. Did a nice little thing around the edge. I can't even think of what it's called. Bias tape. That's what it is. Bias tape around Electrical. The Open this and I have my WIFCO. Let's see, which one was it? Oh yeah, it's my 8375 because it's a 35 amp service and it's 8700 series. So it's 120, it's not 240. So over here, this is the power coming in. I have this 20 amp for my air conditioner because the 15 amp kept uh, tripping. So that's the biggest power draw. And then this, I, have, <laughs> I kind of overdid it. So there's two outlets here. There's one back there for the refrigerator, refrigerator microwave. The 20 amp by itself goes up to the air conditioner. So I don't pay any attention to that cover. And then one goes over to that outlet and that outlet. But first it goes to an outlet on the outside. So there's a GFCI on the outside and it goes to that. And then the one above the bed. So that one's on its own. So there's five different circuits that are run and then one of those is the water pump and then there's the a couple different ones for the lights and charging the back 10 gauge coming in to the 30 amp and then um 12 gauge going out for all of the other ones just because i didn't want to underdo it. i'd rather overdo it and have no issues than underdoing it and having issues the exterior is not done but that is the next thing i'm doing but with this, you can actually, I got the monitors and you can I'll hook it up to, so you can see the tank levels and you have battery level and all of that stuff. Up here on the tongue, I have a battery box with the battery inside, obviously. And the wires, I, ha I have the seven pin I hooked up, got the box here and got this loom to run all of my wiring. Through. Some of the stuff we got on Amazon was this. We made those. You saw that. Um, we got these, this, this, the handles, the lights, those lights, the shower, the hot water heater. I believe the Reflectix and the black fabric, the bias tape. Some of it was on there. Um, the neodymium magnets we got on a different website, but they're actual good magnets. My power unit I got on Amazon. Floors were Home Depot. So was all of the wiring and plumbing stuff. Well, not all the plumbing. I had to keep going to Ace to buy things I didn't know I needed. But this, the foam, the covers were, I'll put it right here because I forget, but there was a lot of negative reviews. People hated the way theirs came out, but we got ours and 
they look wonderful. <laughs> they're water resistant. So some people don't like the way their cushions came out, but ours, we love them. The foam was foam by mail and we got it cut to the exact size that we wanted, 41 inches. The bottom is, I think, 23. I think we did 23 and 15. So that's, no, it was bigger than that. I forget, but it makes it uh, six foot three. So 70, pretty much 75 inches across. Thing with this, it's 75, 75 and a half, something like that. And four foot across. And you got the, the exact setup that you see here from phone by mail. There's little hooks on Amazon. These little guys that hold the doors up. And no, we got those locally, the hinges. We got all of these buttons, switches, and things off of Amazon. And I got the door handle on Amazon, along with this D-shape um, gasket. I just love the way that thing closes. Got away from me. Don't, don't look at that. Back here, we have the access. I have leveling jacks, which those I got on Amazon also. And bunch of random stuff but I also have that gasket back here to seal that up. The J-Rail we got off a vintage trailer supply and I'm working on doing the al aluminum under here because it just has a thin little aluminum co corner thing but I'm actually gonna do a, a chunky little aluminum piece around there I have to cut and fold and I'm gonna get it all smoothed out. Look, this is my vent. Say hello. But yeah, it's, it does stick out a bit, but at the same time, it, it allows me to have instant hot water and it blocks pretty well. And inside, I'm actually gonna put a pipe that goes up just in case water does get in here. It doesn't go inside. It'll hit the pipe, then just come back out. Our 35, our 30 amp service, uh, 120 volt, so. This little guy is still still relevant. So that's thank you that. guys for watching. And if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I will try to give as much information to try to help you guys out. If you're gonna be pursuing this, if you want to, you can kind of get an idea of how much it's gonna cost. You can kind of get things laid out. A lot of stuff we also bought at Home Depot, like the the paint and stuff. We actually it's Sherwin Williams paint, which we had to go to Sherwin Williams get more of, but. The flooring, the paint, the plumbing, the wiring for the electrical we got at the Home Depot. So different things to keep in mind. And please drop any questions down below if you have any. Thanks for watching.